Today we are going to discuss the Wilkes coat of arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service on our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss. Per pale or argent, a chevron between three eagles heads erased sable. This belonged to the Wilkes family of Leighton Buzzard in County Bedfordshire. I believe it was the arms of John Wilkes of Leighton Buzzard, who had son Edward Wilkes, also of Leighton Buzzard, who had several issue, including Luke Wilkes. He was chief yeoman of his or her majesty's wardrobe. Matthew Wilkes, Ironmonger of London, Mark Wilkes, and Joan Wilkes. Now, Edward, John's son, bore a different coat of arms. It looks like Paley of Eight, Or, and Ghouls on a Chief Argent, three lozenges of the second. And his sons bore a different coat of arms with roses in the chief which were altered from lozenges by the Garter King of Arms in 1670 to Luke Wilkes, Matthew Wilkes, Mark Wilkes, and Joan Wilkes. Next is a very similar coat of arms with the crest, a tiger, sagent, ghouls, tufted, maned, ducally gorged, ringed, and lined ore. This is the coat of arms of the Wilkes of Wispetch in the Isle of Eli or Ellie in Needham Hall in County Cambridgeshire, England. Not exactly sure which member of the family this was granted to, but there was William Wilkes who held lands nearby in the Crab House Nunnery Estate in 1592, and he or perhaps his relative acquired Needham Hall. Israel Wilkes of Clerkenwell acquired land in the Isle of Eli, or Eli in 1600, and there was also Robert Wilkes of Wisbeck, who had will dated 1645. Another for John Wilkes, born 1725, a journalist, magistrate, soldier, and member of Parliament for Aylesbury in Middlesex, he was High Sheriff of Buckinghamshire and Lord Mayor of London, the son of Israel Wilkes, Jr., a distiller. And here we see an oil painting of John Wilkes. Another coat of arms and crest for the Wilkes of Loss Hall in County Essex, England, exemplified to the Reverend Robert Fisk, Rector of Wendon Lofts. He was cousin and heir of John Wilkes Esquire of Lofts Hall, born 1771. And upon his death, Mr. Fisk assumed by royal license the surname and the arms of Wilkes. Here we see Lofts Hall. Next, a very interesting coat of arms. It was granted to a woman, which is not unheard of, um, but you don't come across it very often. Argent on a Mount Vert, a pomegranate tree proper, Liebd of the Second, Fruit Door, Seeds Showing Purpur, Crest, Two Eagles Heads Adorsed and Conjoined, Erased Ghouls. It was granted in 1595 to Alice Wilkes, the daughter of Thomas Wilkes of London, and she was married several times, including to William Elkin, an elderman. And it says here, she arranged a grant of a coat of arms with right of descent to her daughter, Ursula, who later married Sir Roger Owen, etc., etc. In 1595, she acquired an estate, Cransley Hall, near Kettering. And next we have... Last, we have Azure Chevron between three Sparrowhawks or for Thomas Wilkes of Leicestershire, England. Looks like it was granted in 1590. I assume, fairly confident, this is Sir Thomas Wilkes who died in 1598. He was clerk 
of the Privy Council, a member of Parliament for Downton and Southampton, and a diplomat. And in 1586, Wilkes was sent to the Dutch Republic to accompany the Earl of Leicester and keep an eye on him. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.